Yeah. You know, they're my favorite places. Everybody knows I love Chili's. Can I wear, can I wear a suit that's all GoPro? They ain't got nothing to me bring. No woman, no time. Does, does it look good? Guys. Yeah. God damn. We ready to do this? Y'all ready to do this? This motherfucker is one of my best goddamn friends and my motherfucking nephew, ladies and gentlemen. We got everything rolling, motherfucker. We good? We good? Ladies and gentlemen, the goddamn ball one more time. We good? Oh! Bring on Rebecca Flinskin, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Diddy Matchstick! Go get these motherfuckers! I deserve all that applause. <laughs> Guys, I, before we get started, I want to make sure that er, I want everybody happy. In life, in general, and everything that you do, I want everybody to be happy. I'm not really sure why it's like supposed to be popular to be sad. Like everybody wants to be sad so bad. They look for every reason to be sad. Specifically, white women. White women <laughs> like being sad so bad. They love it. I know because y'all put it in y'all Instagram bio. And they put what's wrong with them in the Instagram. That's where you can lie. Nobody has told you you can't lie. If you go to the Instagram bio, they're like bipolar, ADHD, Capricorn. <laughs> Let people figure out what's wrong with you. That's called being an adult. I had sex with this girl for three weeks. She didn't even know I have asthma until the last minute. <laughs> nobody, no, don't tell people what's wrong with you. There's nobody black with an Instagram bio being like, no ACL, sickle cell. <laughs> Virgo, you know, that's it, it's not happening. You gotta find that out on your own. I don't know why everybody wants to be so sad. And here the thing is, I've had a hard life, all right? I've had a hard life. I lost my virginity to a girl with an ankle monitor on. I, I've been through things. Sure, I could be sad. I worked at a Logan's Roadhouse. If you've never been to a Logan's Roadhouse, it's where the government said it was okay for white people to white people. <laughs> Their entire motto is, you can eat the peanuts and throw it on the ground. <laughs> and they did. In my eyes. I was 17 years old and somebody ate a peanut and threw it on the ground while looking at me. I have every reason to have felonies. <laughs> But I don't, I wanna be happy. I love being happy. I treat myself so good. I take care of myself, all right? And it, it, the world is gonna make it seem like you have no other options. Because how I take care of me, as a poor boy who grew up where I grew up, the best thing in the world is seafood, okay? I love seafood. If you don't love seafood, you're not poor enough, all right? You're just not poor enough. That lets me further know you had the Lunchable with the Capri Sun in it, because seafood it's amazing when you are poor. I love seafood. I love seafood so much, but I can't afford it, but I can donate plasma and then use that money to go get seafood. I donate plasma, I go get it. Now here's the thing is, I've done this joke before and somebody's come up to me and they're like, what's the difference between donating plasma and donating blood? And I don't actually know, all right? <laughs> All I know is how much they pay. Plasma pay more, all right? That's it. So if you donate blood, you're gonna be at Long John Silver's. If you donate plasma, you're gonna be with me at the Juicy Crab, all right? Yeah, 
Oh, oh, I love the juicy crab. I love, I love the juicy crab. I love the juicy crab. It's like, yo, boy, whoa, love juicy crab. Love juicy crab so much. If y'all broke niggas ain't never been to juicy crab. Ah, oh my God. Juicy crab is amazing. It is the pinnacle of America, all right? Because there's only one food group from America that was started in America, and that is Cajun food. And Juicy Crab said, let's bag it up. And that's what they did. They bagged it up. They bagged it up, and they sell it to you. Uh, if you've never been baked, they give you, they give you a, a garbage bag, right? A garbage bag with about a gallon of butter in there, okay? They give you, they, they give you a garbage bag, a gallon of butter, and they put whatever the fuck you want in there, all right? You want shrimp? You want crawfish? You want a burger? You want a slice of pizza? You want hot wings? Don't matter. They gonna charge you, all right? They gonna charge you. Don't matter. Come to scrap. Love to scrap so much. Here's the best thing about it. God got you so set up. God has you so set up that the juicy crab or any version of it, rocking crab, is always something crab. It is 110% proven to be next door to any plasma donation center. All right? It is right there. It is right there. You can just go. You donate plat and take that. Right? They know me. They know me in there. They know how I get down, right? And and so what? All right, here's the I uh before I went to go donate plasma, I I, I ate an edible, all right, I I ate edible. And listen, I know a lot of y'all know me from my viral video about eating white people edibles. And y'all first question is, did you learn your lesson? No, all right, I didn't. I didn't learn my lesson because if I had learned my lesson, I would have learned that giving out a pint of meat would have made me into a bigger bitch, all right. Is it that, that edible hit hard as fuck when eighth ninths of me are there, all right? I was high as shit. But here the thing is, the only reason why I ate an edible is because when I go, I don't, I have this thing where I don't like to hear other poor people. I don't know that. When I go into Walmart, I need my headphones on, so I ate an edible to make sure that my headphone was good. Because poor people have this disease called calling people on speakerphone, and they don't care who hears it. Poor people love speakerphone so much. You can find out whatever you want if you just stick around long enough, bro. Poor people love speakerphone. I don't like it. I don't want to be involved in it. I'm high. I ate this edible. I walk out. I go into the juicy crab. Now, here's the thing, guys. I am high. Hi, hi, hi. So I can hear everything, everything. I heard a nigga tying his shoes in the back, all right? <laughs> he double bowed it, all right? I heard, I heard the gust of wind wrap around his finger. That's how high I was. And then after that, I heard 21 people sucking on stuff, all right? And here's the thing, that's fine if it's not at max volume, okay? When I listen to 21 people suck on stuff, my volume is on three so my roommate don't know what I'm into, all right? That's an entirely different situation. That's an entirely different situation. Also, guys, if you're watching porn, make sure you close out the screen before you get in your car and it links to the Bluetooth, all right? Make sure, make sure you do that because I don't have AC and my windows were down and my neighbor looked at me and said, Sarah J, hi, what? <laughs> now I gotta move. <laughs> if we're being open and honest. <laughs> So I got that food to go. <laughs> I got it to go. I know, I told you how it worked earlier. I can see your face. How the fuck do you get it to go? I'll tell you, they just double bag it. Uh, they double bag it and then the, the, whatever woman is taking your order just takes her fucking hair tie off and ties it and seals the bag. And so I got that bag to go. I got it to go. Um, and then I got pulled over on the way home with this seafood. Now, if I'm being honest with y'all guys, if I'm being open and honest, my tag ain't good, okay? 
my tag ain't good, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all more. It ain't never gonna be good, all right? I'm not even looking into it, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You better come and catch me, coppers. And they caught me, they caught me. Uh, they caught me, they got, they got me. I was like, great. And here's the thing is, I don't understand why cops are so mad when I break the law. Like, I'm creating jobs for you. Like, why are you so upset? I'm trying to help you fill your quota. I know my tag is bad, but I'm not a rapist. Talk to me nicely. Yeah. Someone will bail me out, we'll all get paid, just be cool. <laughs> I was talking to him, uh, uh, at that, that's exactly what I said to him, that's what I said to the officer. And he told me, the craziest thing was, he didn't even pull me over for the tag, he pulled me over for distracted driving. First, right? Distracted driving, he said I was texting and driving while I was in, and I said, no sir, I was just looking for a clam. All right, because like, and, and, cause I, I, had, I had my arm in the bag and I was looking for a clam, but they kind of hard, they, they some tricky fucks. If you ever go to, you go to do some crap, it's kind of hard to find a clam when you need to find a clam while I'm looking at the road, but I can drive with my knee because I've had sex when I was 15 before, right? And it's, it's cool, it's cool officer, because I was still talking to him. And he says, sir, actually, I'm more inclined to believe you was jacking off and driving. I said, why would you say something like that? He said, sir, you are rock hard right now. I said, yes, because seafood is an aphrodisiac. And he said, no, an aphrodisiac is when somebody else sees you eating seafood and they get turned on. I was like, I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking about. I, you are so wrong right now because Every time I've been promised crab or shrimp, I was hard as fuck, all right? I was hard, yeah, I was real hard. And I come big too, big loads. Oh yeah, big loads. The PSI pressure from my ball set can pressure wash off a driveway, all right? It can pressure wash off a driveway and I can shoot a bitch through a window and then through a wall or whatever little John was talking about. Officer, because I was still talking to him. I was, I was there, I said that right to the officer, right? And then I got arrested. I got, I got arrested, I did get arrested. Um, crazy thing was, this was earlier today. Um, I got arrested today, but I escaped because I was so buttery. I, I, was, I was so buttery from the meal. I just slipped out the handcuffs and then went through the crack of the door, right? Like, here's Johnny. Right, I just went through the crack of the door and I just, y'all ever get high and watch octopus leave jars? That was me. I, I, like, I, I, got, I got right out of the door, but then some of the butter, cause it was scraping off, got on the wheel, the car flipped. The car flipped, it flipped over, and I was like, with that much gasoline, that much butter, that's gonna go from flames, that's a family man. So I ran over there to come save the cop, but these men kept trying to grab my arm. I said, it's impossible, grab my foot. You know, and, and then, so I dragged this nigga out of the car with my foot on the side, save him, the car explodes. This nigga tried to arrest me again. And I was like, bro, you can't do that. Hit him with a, huh, that nigga tore his ACL. And then put it in his Instagram. <laughs> I got away. So if y'all see an APV out for the buttery bandit, that's me. They're looking for me. Looking for me heavy. I had a hard week, man. This man, this one been this has been this has been a hard one to live in. It's crazy. I know everybody's like we all going through stuff, but I feel like I'm bro, the other day I saw my friend's dick for like two seconds on accident. And then the rest of the five minutes was on purpose. Bro got a cock on him, you know what I mean? Like, I got a dick, he got a cock. You know what I mean? Like, it's a different weight. You know how, like, shrimp tastes different from shrimp and oranges taste different from oranges? That man got a cock, you know what I'm saying? 
and it looked like 12 tuna cans stacked up back to back, right? And I was like, Rodney, how... <laughs> Nah, honey, it wasn't right, but it, it, listen, his dick was so big, I, I started respecting his wife more. <laughs> like, I, I started getting in the middle of arguments. He's like, and another thing, I'm like, lower your motherfucking voice, dog. <laughs> She's been through enough. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to park an F650 into a red solo cup? No, you don't. <laughs> so you sit there, you shut the fuck up. But I had questions for him. I had questions. And listen, I do this joke everywhere and every dude's going to act like they don't automatically know the math. I know it's embedded in you, right? What's your name? Yeah, Zach. So I walked up to him. I was like, how many donuts can you fit on that thing, man? I see the hesitation. I understand it. Your first question, what kind of donuts? <laughs> Cause Kroger donuts is a whole lot more thicker than the Krispy Kreme donuts and the Dunkin' Donuts is in the middle. So it's 12, seven, and eight is the same size if you count it. And I understand where you're coming from. Second question you got, smashed or whole, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you this. Tuesday morning, hot and fresh ready sign, 6 a.m. <laughs> How many can he ring toss on that bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. Keep your secrets, man. That's something for you to explore. You didn't even know. <laughs> Bro, when black people call you stupid, you're doing good. <laughs> Mark, I don't. I don't know if y'all, hey, this, this is not even being racist. Black people compliment better than white people, scientifically proven, all right? And I'm not, here are things, I'm not saying white people can't compliment good, right? Like after the show, quarterback looking dude, you go ahead, you're gonna be like, you were a hoot and a half. My wife, you are amazing, man. Thank you so much for playing with me. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, right? That's a beautiful thing, right? But your black ass, you gonna walk to me and you like, nigga, you stupid. You dumb as hell, you ain't shit. And I'm be crying with my mama and being like, you really mean that? Um, guys, one of my friend's kids got caught microdosing in school. What a pussy, right? What a little, this is what I'm saying. These little almond milk ass kids, like how, how the fuck you get caught doing a little something, all right? I don't make no sense. Wait, we gotta get these kids back on whole milk so they can do whole milk crimes, all right? It don't make no shit. These little, these kids are weak and weak, all right? All of them, and that's how I know it's from his mama's side, all right? Because his daddy, his daddy, Randy, my best friend when I was growing up, the same Randy who had a full mustache at five years old and was cooking hamburger helper on the stove for me and all eight of his siblings. Yes, do the math, five years old, eight siblings, it doesn't fucking matter, all right? <laughs> Hamburger helper, and then he would put the buttery uh, white bread with it because it make the hamburger helper go more harder. And he would sit there, we're doing our time tables, smoking mid out of a fucking Coke can, all right? <laughs> smoking mid out of a Coke can until we got a phone call to go pick up his dad from the gas station because he's been there at the coin slots gambling away all of our stolen catalytic converter money, all right? <laughs> All the stolen and kind of converted money we had, he gambled it away. So we had to drive the fuck, the riding lawnmower down to go pick him up. 
The same riding lawnmower, by the way, his dad has two separate DUIs on. All right? Two separate DUIs. And we're passing back and forth from Mad Dog 2020 between the both of us. Driving this, riding lawnmower down. We see the sheriff. The sheriff sees us. He tips his hat at us because we're men. Michael Dawson. <laughs> This is what it is, because I, I get upset. I'm crazy. I do not. And this is the thing. I see what they're doing. This is what they're doing. Our generation doing all the almond milk. They want electric riding lawnmowers. All right? And I, I get nobody applauded at that point because I don't understand why I'm so upset about electric riding lawnmowers. All right? It's because they're trying to take the fathers out of the household and make them in an apartment dads. Okay? That's 100% scientific fact. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm a goddamn tell you. All right? So as far as dads go rank, right? There's no dad at all. There's deadbeat dad. And then there's a apartment dad, which you can still be a good dad, but you can't be anybody's father, right? You can't, you can't be anybody's, how do you, how do you discipline them? Where's your yard? Where do you put your grill? Where do you yell at me when the flashlight isn't in the right place? There are certain things that fathers need. How did y'all even get disciplined in an apartment? You better get in there and clean up the living room kitchen. That's not enough time for me to think about what I did. There's two plates and two knives. You need a yard. And the reason I'm mad about electric, which you, you look progressive, you look like a witch. Uh, just listen, I'm okay. It's like you know, the reason why you need a gas mower, and you don't know this, and this, I'm gonna open up this, because there comes a time that you learn how to move forward. And I'm gonna tell you, every dude in this room, if you think I'm lying, look at them at this story and see if I'm lying, okay? There comes a time during the summer in the South where you have to cut the grass. You have to cut the grass. It's 192,000 degrees outside, all right? 200,000 percent humidity, right? It feel, it feel like a heavy older brother on your back licking your ear saying, nigga, do something, all right? The entire time, right? The entire time. Sweat is in your eyes, it is burning. And you are sitting over here with this gas mower and you can't get it started, okay? You can't get it, you did everything your dad said. You put, you check the gas, you check the oil, you hit the spark plug, you fucking hit the primer. But every time you try, oh, go, 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 oh, go, 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 go. Oh, good, good, good. And the third time, that's the first time you think about suicide, all right? You think about suicide, third time on that pool. And then out of the back of the garage, all you hear is ice clanking in the glass, walking towards you. Yeah, and this glass ain't no regular cup. No, it's a jar that used to be something else, all right? It used to be something else. That jar held pickles or spaghetti, or I don't give a fuck, all right? But it's daddy's glass now, right? And it's clanking and it's got sweet tea and your dad's gonna walk up to you and he's gonna ask you something it's gonna piss you the fuck off it's gonna piss you right the fuck off your dad gonna look in your eyes and go can't get it started <laughs> about this, right? You seem reasonable, right? You think I'm lying. Let me ask you a question. Would you trust a little kid to come cut your grass with an electric riding lawnmower? Hell no. You want the little redneck with the rat tail. <laughs> Guys, I, I need new friends. 
Some of y'all I've put on Craigslist, other on Facebook Marketplace. I need new ones. Y'all don't know how to act. Most of y'all don't know how to act at all. I have explicitly told all of you guys I am crazy and I'm not gonna do anything about it. I said it and then y'all do shit like piss me off when I'm high. It makes no sense. One of my friends who was in this room came to me and said, Dedrick, the reason why you're single is because you're too much of a social butterfly. Who the fuck is afraid of butterflies? <laughs> the reason why I'm single is because I'm crazy. <laughs> Has nothing to do with me being fucking light and fluffy and everybody liking me. What are you talking about? I Googled for six hours butterfly facts. There is not a single butterfly phobia. Nobody is afraid of butterflies. If you check the back of any off spray can, it has every single demon of the forest that you can get. It does not say butterflies at all. They're actually more likely to come to where you're at if you have off spray cans. Look at you, you look up, all right, let me, let me put it in this. Say you're having a picnic, right? You're having a picnic, right? And you open the picnic basket and it's ants all over your food. Ugh, fuck this food, fuck this day, all right? You're a piece of shit. You can, you can predict the pretty weather, but you can't predict the pic, whatever they said. <laughs> but say you eating your sandwich and a butterfly land on it. You like, take the picture. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Take the picture, take the picture. I don't want to move too much. <laughs> this is going to kill on the ground. Hey, baby, look, the angel of the forest has come down to bless this meal. I can't wait to participate. Right? That makes sense. Your arms still crossed. I can see where you're, you're conflicted at. All right, let me, let me ask you this, right? Say you about to have sex with somebody and you pull down their pants and a roach come out. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh! That bitch dirty! You can put that on your page. If you say a roach came out of her pants, there's not a single feminist who are gonna untie their Doc Martens to come beat your ass, all right? Not at all, not at all. No, no, there is not a single Subaru outside your house, all right? There, you will not see anybody's dyed underarm hair. They are not protesting you. They are like, that bitch dirty as fuck, all right? That's disgusting. But if you saw a butterfly fly out, you're like, there's nectar in there. Hey, baby, look, the angel of the forest has come down to bless his meal. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I do need new friends, though. I'm tired, man. One of my friends, man, and listen, this is, this is me opening up for real. You know what I'm saying? This is me, this is me being dead ass serious. Uh, I don't think any of my friends should, should keep trying to do better. Just be shitty. It's okay, bro. Y'all just, as soon as y'all do better, y'all start changing and we're not friends no more. Like, I don't like it, bro. I don't like one of my friends, like she, she like a health nut now. Uh, Cause she got in a breakup, and, and, that, and that goes hand in hand. I've noticed the buffest people have the biggest breakups, and that's that's not anything. It's always niggas start doing karate after a breakup. They don't care. And I and here the thing is, when you start eating, you start trying to eat. Your brain don't work good, and I just keep eating bacon. It's not bad for you, like you know. I, Jesus didn't say bacon specifically, and I, I, I just I just I feel like if. It, it, it hinders your brain. One of my friends took a picture of some Oreos because she does cross shit, CrossFit, sorry. Uh, she does CrossFit and 
she took a picture of Oreos and she put hashtag fat kid problems. And so I commented, bitch, what's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem? I was a fat kid. How dare you? This propaganda that you are spreading as if fat kids have problems with Oreos is fucking poppycock. All right? I'm so mad I start speaking in different areas. Uh, it's, it's poppycock. There is nobody who has beef for Oreos. Not America's cookie. All right? Not, not the United States of America. Do you know Oreo's slogan, sir? What's Oreo's slogan? You don't know? Milk's favorite cookie. How fucking gangster is that? <laughs> These niggas came out in the 80s. There was cookies for 6,000 years before that. They didn't give a fuck who they goddamn offended. You telling me chocolate chip wasn't on the phone with buttermilk like nigga, you seen this shit? <laughs> no. Fuck that! I've been trying to get in contact with milk all motherfucking day! <laughs> now I expect this shit from almond milk, that nigga fake as fuck! <laughs> but whole milk, supposed to keep it a hundred with me, but he acting like a two percent blue top ass bitch right now! <laughs> Milk's favorite cookie? This nigga more of a sandwich than anything. Yo, I swear to God, when I see this nigga, I'ma slap the cream out of him. <laughs> Buttermilk's like, don't even worry. We already checked his location on his Instagram. We already know where to go. <laughs> Shut up. Chocolate Mill's like, get everybody from the sleeve. We riding out Chips Ahoy. <laughs> so now they in the whip, right? <laughs> Chocolate chip, buttermilk, oatmeal raisin. They pull up to Oreo's crib. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Three stories tall as I'll get out. First floor, nothing but hot tubs and Atlanta strippers. Second floor, Kanye West performing with Taylor Swift. Cause nothing makes people forgive like snacks. Third floor, Bernie Mac performing in heaven, VIP only. So they pull up to the crib, they kick open the door. It's a lot of tension in the air. Performers stop performing. Strippers stop stripping. <laughs> Nobody makes a sound. Milk cartons up to the front. And he's like, I've been trying to get in contact with you all day. But you know I got Sprint. So sometimes when I send him, it don't get when I get it back. And then when I put it in, in you know, I'd bro, it's Sprint. Chocolate chips, like, you've been posting online all fucking day. What the fuck, man? You was my man. You was my dog. You remember who took the cookies from the cookie jar? <laughs> they used to steal me to dunk me into you. And now you three knuckles deep with this nigga? <laughs> they got the cookies on the bottom just a bubbling. <laughs> just, oh, fuck it, fuck it! Yo, I'm trying my best not to fucking start some shit in here. And Oreo's like, whoa, 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 calm down, my brother, calm down. This is what they want from us. <laughs> we all for the top of the pantry. 
in any vending machine, you're B6, I'm B5. Everybody's in here, my brother. We got the Keebler L's over here, my brother. We got the Girl Scout cookies over here, my brother. We got the Snickerdoodles up top. We don't know where they come from. We just know white people make them at winter time. So what you wanna do? Slap the cream out of me? What I'ma do, knock every chip out your motherfucking face? Then what are we at the end of the day? Just crumbs. <laughs> crumbs in the wind. <laughs> Chocolate chips like, nigga, you so fucking full of shit. You so full of shit. I'm not full of shit. I'm full of stuff. Double stuff. And then Bernie Mac's like, that motherfucker is full of some goddamn double stuff. I'm a goddamn tell you a story. The other day I was watching The Parent Trap. I was watching The Parent Trap. All right, The Parent Trap got a British Lindsay low hand and an English Lindsay low hand, right? And they sitting over there, they twin sisters at a camp. <laughs> at a camp, they sitting over there. They getting the game and they playing poker, they getting a fight. Get a fight. Get locked up together in the treehouse. One of them take out some Oreos, the other one say, hey, hey, I had this. Go she do, she put some peanut butter on them. I ain't never had that. I said, boy, let me try this out right here. Now I tell that joke for two reasons. One, I want to show off my Bernie Mac impression. Secondly, I feel like that's what the movie Black Panther would have been about if it was about snacks. <laughs> so me and Wiley working on a cartoon adaptation called Black Pantry. <laughs> or Snack Panther, you can vote online. It's a good movie. What's the hardest part about being single? We don't have a lot of time, we know. What's the hardest part? Hey, 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 tattoo white guys. We're friends with each other, shut the fuck up, all right? We're not doing that, so just stop. I'm high, I told you, respect me. <laughs> now back to you, Zoomies manager. All right, just, just I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're so pretty, I like your top, I like it. So, I like it. Don't cross your arms and wave it. You, why do white women feel like they can sass me like I didn't grow up with a full-blooded black mom? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? White women want to be sassy so bad like my mom didn't make up an extra sibling that she killed. She'd be like, you know, your older brother used to do that. <laughs> that nigga gone, never met the nigga. Nobody met him. You gonna cross your arms and wave your finger. Bro, I got student loan debt. You can't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so funny and I can, I can go off the cuff anything written. I'm so good, I'm so talented, but mostly I'm handsome. And so like I can get away with a lot of, I'm sorry for, I love you. I'm not mad at you, but I do know that you're single because you look happy. <laughs> you don't look like you were in an argument on text and you threw your phone down on the car and you're like, just drive. <laughs> You just don't have that energy, is what I'm saying. I'm a, if I'm being honest with y'all, I, I, 100%, two days ago, my dad died seven years, and then that night, I got arrested. It was the worst night of my fucking life. And every time I do comedy, there's people with a bunch of dead dads, and when I talk to y'all, it, it's, it, it hurts my heart because y'all don't understand that if you had a pops, like, so I had a pops, and a pops is a grade above a father. It's a holographic collector's item. If you, you've, met, you've met him before in your life, it, there's always a pops. 
And what I want to say, if you had a great father figure in your life and they passed away, they don't die. If you have a dad that's passed away, their souls are just waiting in any Lowe's, Ace Hardware, or Home Depot. <laughs> and if you stare at a piece of equipment long enough, my father will come up and start talking to you. <laughs> Look at a grill long enough, he gonna be like, what you think about smoking? <laughs> <laughs> this is a power dash thing. <laughs> but you about being single. Uh, you ever been hit with the rocket ship effect? You don't know what that is? You got a mustache. That's crazy. You don't know about Ray, you see this? The rocket ship effect, you know what that is? That's when you see somebody you think's attractive and they're walking towards you like, oh, that's a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Chuggins, nothing lives, nothing lives around here unless we let it live. And guess what? There's a lot of flourishing. Everything flourishes when we seed the ground. Check the fertilizer. What's that? Sorry, for that? It's expensive as fuck though. 